Hey, how's it going? Well, ever since Microsoft patched Windows 10 for the Spectre and Meltdown vulnerabilities, my computer has not been running nearly as efficiently. They were saying, oh, you'll, you might see a little bit of a slowdown, a little bit of a slowdown. It really affected me a lot. Uh, my processor is from 2013, so the main squeeze of my computer is old. Um, I did do an upgrade on my motherboard and video card in 2017 and uh, also upgraded my RAM a little bit. But that only helped so much. And in 2018, when they did those patches, man, I wasn't able to use OBS anymore without problems with the frame rates. Even when I just record, you know, not, not even streaming, but when I just record, I have problems in OBS since then. Even when I try to transfer VHS to digital, I, I, uh, in 640 by 480. If you don't know, I have an, a secondary channel called Kizum's Clips, spelt with a K. It's all about uh, old commercials, and I uh, do timestamps on them. So if you look in the description, they have a timestamp and what the commercial is, so you can click on the, the timestamp and go right to that spot in the video. Most people don't spend that much time to do that. I just like, I just obsess on that. So, and I also obsess on making sure they're in 60 frames per second. But since the, the Spectre and uh, Meltdown patches, that's even that's been sometimes hard to get it to be a nice smooth 60 frames per second. Um, I'll have to restart the computer and have the only things running in the background are, are, Amarec TV and OBS, transferring at 640 by 480. And like I said, even then, sometimes I still get some glitches in the frame rates and I have to re-record. Frustrating. But uh, yeah, uh, since OBS has ran that way, I've been using the Microsoft camera app to record most of these videos because the frame rate is fine on that. So, you know. But that stream, that last stream, that looked terrible. That was choppy the whole time. I mean, it wasn't as bad as when I had the camera going as well. You know, after I turned off the camera in OBS, turned off that uh, video source, you know, on my end it looked okay, but on the other end, oh, that looked terrible. I don't know why some of you were saying that looked all right. That looked terrible. Anyway, I have a credit line with my bank that I may be taking advantage of so I can do a computer upgrade. You know, I, I, I and in order to, I, in order to do this upgrade, I can't just upgrade one thing at a time. I have to, I've got to bite the bullet and upgrade the, the processor, the motherboard and the RAM. And in order, and then I'll have to get a different fan as well for it, get a main fan. And I'll probably not be able to use the same case. I'll have to get a new case as well. And then I might have to get another uh, uh, power supply as well. So um, then I'll give most of the components that are in the computer I'm using now to my mother. And she can do her do a computer upgrade. So she can... Hers is from like 2010. So this would be quite an upgrade for her. It'll allow her to run Second Life nicely again. That'll be nice. It's time. Um, I don't know how soon this will be that I'll get this upgrade, but uh, it'll be nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for participating in the stream that I had. It was fun it, until the game wasn't that much fun. Um, uh, that game be started becoming frustrating near the end, but uh, that's all right. Um, it was a neat, a neat environment they created, nice graphics, um, great sound, great video, um, but a kind of a frustrating game. So anyway, thanks for watching.